by Universal. of animation it is nine o'clock we have already got an uber over to art of animation it cost us 25 dollars and 15 cents so not a lot at all for a, a extra large though we were a little bit worried because we didn't think the luggage was all going to get in we're going to queue for magic kingdom and uh, yeah head straight to the park not wasting any time we've dropped our bags off at bell services checked in um, I'm going to get an email with a dining credit on it and also when our room is ready. But yeah, we're heading straight to the parks. Already looked at the wait times. Doesn't look too bad. However, it has just opened for non resort guests. So we will see how busy it gets. Also, it is a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight. So I found last year not many people would go on a day unless they were going to the party because you can only stay in until 4 or 5 p.m. But we're heading straight on the bus, it's already here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Even without all the 50th stuff. Yeah, the blue really makes it stand out. Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I think we're going to try and get as close to the castle as we can and get a picture because we do have the memory maker included in our package. So, first picture at Disney has to be a castle picture. So, here we go. <laughs> First ride in Magic Kingdom, one stormer! <laughs> And we 
are heading on to our third walk on of the Little Mermaid under the sea. So we're going to do this and Jude just mentioned he's hungry so we're going to go to Gaston's after and then get another small plan together of what rides we want to hit. At the moment ride times here do seem to be quite low as I said to you earlier. Um, it just seems to be the big coasters which hopefully we're hoping will die down a little bit nearer to lunchtime. Maybe people have just come in to do the coasters and then they leave knowing that they can only stay in until four. So that's what we're hoping, fingers crossed, but we're just quite happy doing these little small rides. It's just nice to be back in the Magic Kingdom. When you're walking through the queue lines, definitely just look around, see all the detail, like all the shells on the floor, all the little stars on the wall. Okay, we all enjoyed Gaston's as we did last year. Lovely, highly recommend. If you're coming, go try both the cinnamon roll and the ham and Swiss sandwich. Both Amazing. really, really nice. Um, and also we got the brew, as I showed you, and that's also really nice. It's basically lemonade, and well it is lemonade, and apple juice together frozen it's really nice really refreshing so we got that still so we're going to drink that while queuing for Winnie the Pooh it's saying a half an hour wait so we're going to test the waters see if it's as long as they're saying hey good name Fred oh look Pooh and Tigger are meeting over there
we are now heading down to the teacups because that's right next to Winnie the Pooh. We did wait just over half an hour, however, the staff member that was letting in the fast pass queue was being a bit OTT. She was letting a lot of people on. Our line didn't move for eight minutes. So, um, yeah, otherwise it would have been dead on half an hour. So, um, but anyway, let's go on to the teacups. Myself, Taylor, and Jude are going on the teacups because Charlie and Freddie don't feel like it. So, uh, it's only a five minute wait and they're going to film us. <laughs> Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Uh, you're in for a real treat. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Just a dream away the TTA Blue Line, non-stop service around Tomorrowland. Hey, Greetings intergalactic travelers, welcome aboard the People Wonder Blue Line, presented by Enterprise. I'm Morak 5, yeah. your guide aboard this highway in the sky. It's the rockets that we were just and on to. I bet I can. I know you didn't like There's it, did no you? Like it to There's Main Green Street and Red Line. And and the puzzle. Keeps on rolling through the future, right by two of my favorite spots. Except action stars, those are no longer sold. To your right is the Astro Orbiter, our celestial symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. <laughs> and black clouds were coming over we got to the bus stop and it started raining so we've made it to our room three six three three I thought I would just show you some bits and pieces that are in here so if you are staying here then it's helpful for you um, but just to show you basically what you get when you stay in a cars suite or probably any family suite to be honest in 
art of animation. We get a bathtub in one bathroom, which also has a great curtain as well, which is in with the theming. You get a hairdryer and you get your facial soap and there's two electrical sockets there and also before I forget the H2O products are still in here so you've got shampoo, conditioner and body wash and we enjoyed using that last year get a full length mirror here which is on the outside of the door so if someone's in the bathroom you can still use it there we go into the main area this is a pull out sofa bed so this is where Taylor's going to be sleeping and then in the kitchenette you get a full size fridge so this is a bigger fridge than the one that we had in Pop Century let's just double check in here so you have a change of kitchen roll there's one already hanging up there you do have your coffee machine with all the coffee. Joffrey's coffee here. Um, some tea bags. What do they call this? Because this isn't milk, is it? I think it's, it's like cream. a cream. Creamer. Yeah. No. You've got your sugars. Then you have your takeaway cups, which are handy if you're going to make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and take it with you in the morning. There are some lids as well. There's a microwave in here as well. So if you've gone to Walgreens or if you've got something from the, you can see the reflection of the telly in the food court, then you can always heat it up here. Plates, bowls, plenty of cutlery, plastic cups and ice bucket and your sink as well. And there is another plug here, what's handy for us to put our kettle. Over this side, you have a hanging space. So this will probably be for Taylor and the boys. I'll get them to share all that. You have a big drawer down there and then two small, well, not as deep, but quite long drawers and then another two there. So there's quite a lot of space to hang clothes, extra pillows and blankets as well and a large telly here with plenty of sockets so usb as well there so this is a pull down murphy bed this is the same as what you get in all of the results now i think and this is what we had one of these and an actual bed in pop century they have a little side drawer next to each side with outputs as well, either side, there we go, and they are on wheels as well, I'll just put his shoes down there, so he must be sleeping on that side, so yeah we'll pull that down in a minute and show you that in case you haven't seen how that works, and then off here to the left you have your main bedroom, and another TV here, four drawers, so Two longer drawers and two shorter drawers. They are quite deep. You do fit a lot in them. And then you also have lots of outputs as well. And then behind our door, we have quite a big space. So we'll probably put some suitcases there, but there is space under the bed as well to put your suitcases, your safe, iron and an ironing board and hanging space and again extra pillows and blankets again we have the soap outputs there little mirror same sort of design well it is the same design and another hair dryer so that's good plenty of towels and this is a walk-in shower in here Got three hooks there as well and also more H2O products. There we go. Also, on the bedside table lamps, there are more outputs as well. I just noticed them when I went into the bathroom. So there we go. Blackout curtains in all the rooms. It's really big, spacious. Love the theming. 
got Flo and Ramon on there. And as I said, we'll pull this down and show you how quick and easy it is to do. I think we're gonna unpack and uh, maybe go for some dinner while it's raining. And then we weren't in Magic Kingdom too long. We might go to another park because we were planning on going swimming, but depends how the uh, weather holds up, isn't it? Yeah, so, it's still raining. Yeah, but we could always go to another park if we wanted to, so yeah. Just another overall view for you. Any questions about the room? If I've walked past something or, yeah, wanna know anything else, then leave them down below and I'll answer them for you, but hopefully I've shown you everything anyway. Well, they're quite light, they're not heavy, are they? covering the handles up with the blue cloth but now we know it'd be easy to get in and out we can hear the thunder from in here also I thought I would just show you out the window the weather and also the view so we are in building three which is Luigi's you have Tomata over there which I think is building one and then down this end you have Will Will Well I think um so yeah, there's three different buildings here of family suites. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably spend the next 20 minutes, half an hour unpacking. It's the first time we've unpacked because I packed all our universal stuff in one case. So the other four are now all Disney. So I'm gonna unpack them, put everything away and settle down now. So I haven't vlogged for a few hours. We're actually in Epcot now. It was raining, so we had to get the bus over, but it has stopped. It isn't as warm as it has been, so we're keeping our jackets on because it is quite cold when you go into the aircon. We had dinner at the food court at Art of Animation. It was okay. I don't feel that there was as a bigger selection as pop, but first day, we went also at a weird time, didn't we? We went at like a half two, three o'clock. So it was in between like lunch and dinner. So 
you know, we'll uh, give it another go. But what we're gonna do is get the boys their hide and squeak, Remy, um, so that they can do that when we come to Epcot throughout the trip. And yeah, just have a little walk around. We don't really have much of a plan. We're gonna just see what we can do and what we can jump on if we can do any rides. But yeah, just take it nice and chilled because we do have a early morning tomorrow. So we're not gonna be probably staying for fireworks or anything, but it does mean that we can get Skyliner back now as well because the uh, rain and thunder has stopped. So that's good. So yeah, let's see what we can do in Epcot for the evening. Let's build that one off then, and we're doing it in Mexico, okay, Freddie? Taylor, can you hold it? Alright, so this then, hold that. Hold that. You're going to stick it on there. Can you do it? Uh, Alright, we we'll do it together. One, two, push it on. Hold it. I did that. Well done. Okay, Ready Freddie, to go. what's the next one then? Uh, China. China, right, okay. Well, should we go to China then? Yeah. Should we do a few of these now? It's very busy, isn't it? Into Mexico. And we're going to go on the Grand Fiesta Tour. The Free Caballeros. See Donald Duck? Yeah. It's very busy in here. It smells delicious though. Okay. This is quite a big queue. He's moving though. We've got a lovely restaurant here. Never eaten here before. And I haven't booked it for this trip, but it looks very nice. Smells delicious from here. And as you can see, the queue is moving quite quick. Grand Fiesta Tour, as I said. So hopefully we won't be lining up too long. <laughs> oh well Mr Lanky you shouldn't you shouldn't be so tall then your knees wouldn't touch <laughs> holding out of all these stickers you show me all right so we're gonna put that one on this country okay you pop it on then go on just no. all right mommy put it on and you push it on uh. <laughs> he does not like stickers you're so funny done yours Fred yeah okay what's the next country you tell us um India India we're going into the house of good fortunes to have a little look around <laughs> the lucky cats I don't know if they have a proper name oh, that's one of them plants isn't it bamboo. bamboo yeah I don't know if we're allowed to take these sort of things home I don't know if it would survive even in the case to get home. I know, it's just <laughs> something to I suppose remember, isn't it? It's a, it's a lucky bamboo, this one. Lucky one. Yeah, for 9 95 Yeah, so, lucky if it makes it home. <laughs> I love all their nicky nap bits, but I don't know what the purpose of these type of things are. It looks like it's supposed to be a key ring, maybe. I have no idea. These little purses. 
is this uh, gift pouch. Another little embroidered purse. You do not want to mess with me. I learned karate back then. Well, we are. Let's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're gonna hurt yourself. Stop. Hurt yourself. Okay. <laughs> right, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. I don't know if you heard that, you said the last time I used one of them, I hit myself over the back of the head. Like this? <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. No, it's a bit faster than that. They're not real ones though, are they? No, these are just rubber. Oh, they're just rubber ones. Yeah. <laughs> so you shouldn't hurt yourself too much. No, right, let's oh, put them so down. Ready? Ah. I learned karate back then. That was actually quite sick. We don't dance! Do, do, do! Well, I'm gonna, don't mind if I do, I'm going to karate top you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll think about that, mister. I've just come across these gem bonsai trees. They're different. Never seen anything like them before. Really pretty though. Quite a bit of money, $128. That one's 88 and that one's 88 as well. They're being a nice gift for someone. I need a pair of these when I'm eating my Chinese. I can't use chopsticks. Let us know down in the comments if you can use chopsticks. But I'd need some of them. Oh, like the kids ones that you get at Wagga Mama's. But if you can use chopsticks, they do have some really pretty ones here. They also have these sets, which are really nice. They also have the stands that you can pop them on when you're eating, or they just sell the little stands, little cat ones. They do bigger sets as well down here, on some with some pandas. <laughs> Cute. They have so many weird and wonderful, I suppose. Flavours of crisps. I have no idea. Can't read what it says. Maybe turn it over and see. Turn it over. Like yeah, I know. Have it, see what it says on the back. Oops. No, I don't read Chinese. No, I know, but it might be in English. Well, this one says peach beer flavour. Let's see what these ones said. And these ones say craft beer flavour. The label on the back is so small, but it does say vine pepper bowl. I'm not entirely sure what that is. That's the same as what we've seen. Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, um, I think that was squid. And roasted garlic oyster flavor. <laughs> so many beautiful designs. Very funny, that He said, put it back. One plate out, one plate in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah, that's our teddy roll, not a plate roll. Alright, we found the next one sure? in India. Are you really sure? So the boys yeah. are going to put the sticker on. Mama, Dad, bye, bye. Yeah, India. Yeah. Smells yeah. lovely here. All the food. There's some drumming going on over here as well for the kids, I think. We got the beer flight from Germany, as well as the apple strudel, which is here that we're all going to share. And in true Disney Epcot food and wine style, we're having it on top of a <laughs> trash can. So, yeah, we're all going to have a bit of apple strudel. Charlie's going to try the beer, see what he thinks. Did you have one from Germany last year? I don't think so. No? no. I think so. I thought you did, no. but well, maybe not. Oh, they're so difficult to get out, aren't they? You broke one last year, didn't you? This beer flight was $10, by the way. That was a little bit sharp for me, that one. Bit too sharp. Are they gone worse down the line? No, you want to taste that one. Why, is it sweet? Yeah, it's a surprise that one. Oh, it smells, it smells fruity, is it? Yeah. 
I like that one. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder what fruit that is. Pear. Pear. Prickly pear. Is that what that one is? Yeah, it says prickly pear. Oh yeah, prickly pear. You're just drinking it now. That one's nice. Right, now we're all going to try the uh, apple strudel. It's nice as I remember from last year. Sweet apple, cinnamon, and then a really nice vanilla custard. Five out of five. Nice, isn't it? So it's coming up to half past seven. We've done the whole of World Showcase and we're starting to feel it. It's really humid now that it's rained. Skyliner's up and running because it isn't raining anymore. And uh, we thought we'd get ahead for closing time. Once we get home, I think we're gonna get showered, bath, and get ready for Animal Kingdom tomorrow. We're back in the room. It is nine o'clock. We are all in our pajamas and ready for bed. I think not. We think we are um, absolutely knackered. So we've done the whole of World Showcase, as I said to you on the way out. Myself and Taylor popped to the food court, got some drinks in our refillable mugs that I forgot to tell you that we got. You can only use them in results, which is fine. Um, and we used them quite a lot last year so we thought we would get them again this year and we got two 100 year anniversary ones and two pop century ones but yeah so we're all settled into the room all unpacked and everything so we are off to bed now and we are off to Animal Kingdom tomorrow we were hoping to get up for the magic hours and get there to do flight of passage first we just have to see how we all feel in the morning i think because we were all up bright and early this morning to get over to here and magic kingdom then back here and unpacking i think that has exhausted us as well so yeah we'll just see how we sleep tonight fingers crossed well and get up and do what we were planning to do tomorrow and we've got breakfast at Tusker House so looking forward to that but yeah we're going to end today here I hope you have enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have hit subscribe if you're new here as well and don't forget to also hit that bell icon so that you're notified when new videos go live but for now we're going to love you and leave you and we will see you soon for another vlog bye for now